hello students today we are going to learn about fraction you see many students have confusion regarding fraction by this video i will try to clear all your doubts and clear your conception fine now see what is first of a fraction let us understand the definition of fraction with the help of a diagram see suppose this is a circle okay what i did i cut the circle into three parts and i choose this particular part fine now see if i going to represent only this part then how i am going to represent this this about this part now see this part is what this part this small part is a fragment of this particular circle okay don't use let us not use the word fragment fragment means a more smaller piece but see this is a smaller part of this entire circle okay this is a smaller part of this entire circle that's fine now can this small piece be represented as a fraction the answer is yes now how we are going to represent this small part as a fraction since this smaller part has been has been taken from this bigger circle and this bigger circle was first split into three parts so how many parts this entire circle has been split the entire circle has been split into three parts okay after splitting the circle into three parts which part i am considering i am considering only one part so one part of the total three part yes this is how we represent a particular fraction similarly i am considering another circle okay this is a circle i have split this circle into four parts and i have considered only one part that is the shaded part now how this shaded part is going to be represented as a fraction see this entire circle has been split into four parts so number of total parts how many total part is four so how many part we are going to consider we are going to consider only one part so one by four so one by four is the re fraction representation of this particular part again if i am going to consider one more part like this i have considered this now see in this entire circle which is split into four parts now how many parts are shaded now here two parts are shaded so if i am going to represent these two parts as a fraction then number of shaded parts divided by total number of parts so the answer will be 2 by 4 if you okay if you want to reduce it then it will be 1 by 2 fine now if you follow the definition of fraction what is the definition of fraction the definition of fraction is that a fraction can be written in form of a by b okay a by b a fraction can be written in form of a by b okay a and b are variables okay variable means what they have they can vary the value of this particular mm, variables vary they are not constant one is constant like one two three four they are constant then uh, for a particular you know equation the value of a can be one for another equation a can be two likewise that's why we say this values varies that's why it is known as variable okay it is they have the ability to vary simply use know that now see okay the fraction is represented or written in form of a by b but there is a condition okay the, and where a and b are whole numbers are whole numbers now see regarding numbers one is natural number okay i'm denoting a bit of n what is natural number those numbers which we consider naturally for counting suppose there are you know 
10 bicycles then I'm going to count like this 1 bicycle, 2 bicycle, 3 bicycle, 4 bicycle like this way so they are called natural numbers and that's why natural number starts from 1 2 dot dot to infinity okay this is positive infinity that means when we consider uh, when we uh, consider those number which are taken naturally for counting that are called natural number and it is represented by n okay now another is a whole number whole number line you can get i am representing it with w now see if in a counting system okay if i introduce the zero and the number line is going to start from 0, 0, 1, 2, up to infinity. Then that number line will be considered as a whole number line. Okay, see, this is a natural number line, this is a whole number line. In natural number line, there is no 0, but in whole number, there is 0. In school, I think uh, you have came across this question. Uh, like uh, which one is the smallest whole number okay then you have to say that 0 is a smallest whole number one thing you remember all natural numbers are whole numbers but all whole numbers are not natural numbers what is the meaning of this statement see all natural numbers that all natural numbers are starting from 1 2 3 4 up to in positive infinity but our whole number line is starting from 0 see since 0 is missing in natural number that's why the smallest that's why the natural number all natural number cannot be treated as a whole number okay all natural numbers that is 1 2 3 4 up to positive infinity are present in the whole number line but all the numbers present in the whole number lines are not present in the natural number line that's why we say all natural numbers are whole numbers but all whole numbers are not natural numbers okay yes okay now let's, let's not debate away from our point that we are going to study the fraction now see what was the definition of fraction the definition of fraction was like this a fraction can be represented by okay a by b where a and b are whole number and one thing is that and b is never equal to zero we cannot write a fraction where the where the b is zero like we cannot have this one by zero we cannot write this regarding fraction i like to introduce two terms see here a and it is b a and B got two different names. A is termed as numerator. Numerator. And B is termed as denominator. That means what? While writing a fraction, we cannot have denominator equal to zero. It cannot be equal to zero. Now the question is that whether numerical numerator can be zero like whether we can have a fraction that is like one by zero by one zero by five is it possible yes is it possible the answer is yes you'll be surprised why i'm saying this yes now see can we get any number from this when 1 is divided by 0, what will be the output? Is the existence of this particular division? The answer is no. The answer is always undefined. The answer is no, undefined. It is undefined. Because can you name a number that when multiplied with 0 gives 1? No. That's why such kind of fractions are invalid now come to this 0 by 1 now 1 into what number should be multiplied with 1 to get 0 the answer is 0 yes that's why this particular set of numbers or 
like this numbers can be possible that's it. that means when writing a fraction the numerator can be zero but the denominator cannot be zero you simply have to remember this okay yes i think you are having a good conception regarding fraction okay now slowly i'll move to types of fraction okay them numerous types of fraction you should have a good concept regarding those fine okay see the first type of fraction is proper fraction now what is actually a proper fraction okay now see in a fraction a fraction is always represented by a is to b or a by b yes where a is the numerator and b is the denominator okay we can have numerous numbers of fraction out of those how we can represent which fraction is proper and which fraction is improper or something else now see you remember one thing those fraction whose numerator value is always less than the denominator that is the value of numerator is less than the denominator such type of fractions are called proper fraction fine like example and give like 3 by 5 okay 3 is smaller than 5 4 by 5 it can be yes 7 by 9 it can be yes okay such type of fraction in which the numerator value is more than the denominator are called proper fraction fine now if what if reverse happen like if i find some fractions which got opposite value of this like 9 by 7 or 5 by 3 or 5 by 4 suppose I came across this type of fractions now what will be these fractions called then these fractions are known as improper fraction improper okay they are simply known as improper because why according to the definition of proper fraction those fractions in which the numerator value is less than the denominator are called proper fraction and those fraction in which the denominator value is less than the numerator or the numerator value is more than the denominator are known as improper fraction simply if you want you can remember like this d or n greater than d this is the first kind this is the second kind again you came across okay you come across so, um, other type of fractions like this 1 1 by 2 or 3 1 by 3 or 5 1 by 5 yes I think you are aware with such type of fractions now see these fractions they got a mix value okay and how we can get the value of such type of fractions first of all let me give you the, the, the name of this fraction the name of such type of fraction is called mixed fraction they are called mixed fraction mixed fraction okay yes now why they are called mixed fraction because there is a mixing of a whole number and a fraction see in each fraction okay I'm considering three fractions in this three fraction there is a mixing of a whole number a whole number plus a fraction fine now see in a first case that is 1 1 by 2 1 1 by 2 okay here 1 1 by 2 here first one this this is the whole number and half is the fraction and in order to calculate the value or in order to convert the mixed fraction into a proper fraction what we are going to do you see or improper actually what happened 
max the mix fraction okay the mix fraction will always end up with an improper fraction you remember this whenever you get a mixed fraction all mixed fractions are going to end up with a improper fraction now see here one one by two okay one one by two yes see one is the this one is a whole number and half is a mixed number now how we are going to calculate this this one is going to get plus this one is going to get plus with the half okay and so with a, a nice example we yes it's better take this uh, 5 1 by 2 okay here yeah, I'm taking three different uh, numbers yes if 5 is the whole number so 5 is the whole number and half or 1 by 2 is a fraction since this kind of fraction is a mixture of a whole number and a fraction that's why it is known as mixed fraction okay if somebody asks you why this such type of fractions are known as mixed fraction then you should be able to say that this such type of fraction contains one whole number and a fraction okay now what should be the value of this particular fraction how we are going to calculate the value of such type of fractions see this 5 is a whole number and this is a fraction now we have to simply add it now how we add this okay now see when we write a particular number in this way that means it always has a, a denominator as one okay that is 5 means what 5 by 1 okay now let us take the LC if there is 1 after this we are going to get 10 10 plus 1 11 by 2 yes now can you see me what kind of fraction is 11 by 2 here the numerator is bigger than the denominator and obviously it is what it is an improper fraction improper fraction okay i think i'm clear with this yes yes now we have completed what is fraction okay what is a proper fraction what is an improper fraction what is a mixed fraction and how we can calculate a mixed fraction very easily okay i think your concept regarding the fraction is a bit clear okay and see there are many other kind of fraction the most confusing time kind of fraction is the vulgar fraction okay and other kind of fractions i'm going to discuss in my next video so get tuned with my channel and get benefited by clearing your concept on maths okay then very soon we are going to meet please do subscribe and like my video